Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. This is Marie. And I thought maybe it was about time that I did the update to the Manifesting a House video. So I think the last that I shared with you guys, I was working with a real estate agent to try to manifest this home and bring it into reality. And um, two weeks ago, I received an email telling me that we had been pre-qualified for a home. Now, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys here. I really didn't think it was going to happen. I have no idea how it happened, but it just, it happened. Um, the only thing that I can think of is, you know, that I... I picked a real estate agent and a loaning officer that were very hungry to make commissions. And I think that if you truly want a house in your future, that's the only way to go. You really need an agent and a loan officer that really want to make it happen. Because I've seen things in my past I've seen loans that should have never gone through and I've seen some shady stuff going on to make things happen. And if they want to make it happen, it'll happen. And uh, so I was given the go ahead and um, he started sending houses my way to take a look at and I was so excited. And, but before that you guys sit there and go, woohoo, Marie. Um, well, after we were accepted and approved, we found out that we weren't accepted and approved for that much. Actually, it was pretty low. But I was okay with it. And I started looking at houses and started looking at houses. But then I came across a, a problem. Um, you know, if you get qualified for, let's say, up to $200,000, you know, they take your income to debt ratio into account, and you get qualified for, let's say, $200,000, your real estate agent wants to show you houses that are $230,000, and they want to work you down because they want to stay at the high end of the spectrum because they want to make a higher commission. I started running the numbers. I'm a numbers runner. I run numbers constantly in my head. And I started running the numbers and running the numbers. And I started realizing that even though we weren't qualified for that much, at the higher end of our spectrum, the mortgage payments were not going to be in my comfort zone. Um, they were going to be well over $1,000 a month with, because we were only going to put $500 down. And um, that wasn't going to work for me. I refused to be house poor. I wanted to still be able to have a life. And um, payments over $1,000 a month, that's just not doable for me. So um, I ended up calling my agent and telling him, you know what, this isn't going to work for me. And um, I, I just don't think it's the right time. Maybe... You know, it, it's just not the right time. And he's like, no, 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 it's, it, it is, it's, it's, we can work, we can work with this. We'll, we'll get you a second. And I'm like, oh no, that's definitely not going to work for me. I'm, I don't want, no, uh-uh. So I called up my loan officer and I told her, I said, you know, this isn't going to work for me. Um, how about if we just kind of take some time and um, put some more money together. Maybe if I can put a bigger down payment, my monthly payments will be less. And this is when I was served a reality check. She says to me, well, that's not gonna work, Marie, because for every thousand dollars that you put down, your mortgage payment only goes down $10. So you would need an extra $20,000 
in order to be in the payment range that you want. So I hung up the phone, I sulked, and I laid there in bed running numbers in my head. How can I do this? I really want a place to heal to happen. I, I want it more than anything. So I ran the numbers in my head and ran the numbers in my head and suddenly the light came on. And um, I thought, well, you know, if I can't come up with $20,000, I wonder if I go down $20,000 if it's the same thing. So I called my mortgage lender the following day and I said, hey, if I can't do this, can I do that? If I can't come up with $20,000, can I just go down $20,000 on the price of the home? She didn't like that too much, but she says, yeah, that'll work. So I called my agent and I said, um, I want to look at houses, but no longer in that price range. I need to go 20000 down. And I came across another obstacle. Every house, like I said, you know, we weren't... Um, approved for that much to begin with so when you drop twenty thousand dollars so I started looking at these houses and I kept running into the same brick wall um, either one they were in little pigeon coops you know where the houses were like right next to each other where if you threw a rock you could hit your neighbor and um, that wasn't gonna work for me they had zero backyard and you know we needed some land we want to grow our own food we have to put a place to heal there and uh, or number two they were in some pretty shady neighborhoods oh my god I, there was one neighborhood I actually turned the corner and I was like not no hell no I turned the car around and I left I was even scared to drive through that neighborhood I'm like I'm not buying a house there or um, you know, number three, um, it just was in, in, in a part of town where um, the houses were just so close together that even if we wanted to, um, you know, to have, um, you know, meetings or um, workshops or anything, there's no place for people to park. Or I would walk in the house and sinks would be missing and walls would be painted black and yellow and purple and you know um, horrible things written on the wall and graffiti and holes and um, oh man caved in roofs and I was like oh no <laughs> no 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 so I kinda had given up hope until three days ago I drove by a house and it was perfect. So I called my agent and I said, I want to go take a look at the inside and I want to see if this one works for me. So he met me there and it has half an acre in the back. It's a rough half an acre. They have not taken care of it. They've let the brush get overgrown. But there is this sense of peace on the property it's very tranquil there and it has this beautiful tree that I swear was calling my name the whole time I was walking around so we went inside the house is definitely a fixer-upper um, it has not been updated since um, the people moved in but it hasn't been abused either I mean there's no holes there's no you know nothing bad going on it just it's been neglected and it just hasn't been updated. So we put in a bid. The only problem was that the house was $20,000 <laughs> more than what the payments that we needed were. And I talked to my agent and I said, what are the chances? And he said, all you can do is try. The most they can tell you is no, right? 
not only did the people go down the $20,000 to meet us, but they are going to help us with the down payment so that we can get the home. But they also are going to pay our closing costs. So my agent said he was just amazed. He said, I'm floored. He goes, I'm really floored. He goes, I never thought in a million years they were actually going to go down that $20,000 to meet you guys. So today I drove to the other side of town and I gave him the earnest money. And um, tomorrow there's going to be an inspection on the foundation and everything else to make sure everything is structurally sound. And then Saturday, I get to meet my inspector, and then we get to go through the house with a fine tooth comb to make sure that it passes inspection. I decided that I was not going to go with the inspection company that they um, suggested for me. And I suggest that to anyone. Do not go with the, <laughs> do not go with the inspection company that your real estate agent suggests. I picked someone that I trusted that I know. I've known him for four years, and I, I hired him to do the inspection because he's an, he's an inspector, and um, he's also a general contractor. So he's going to be doing the inspection for me, and he promised me that he was going to go through that house with a fine-tooth comb. So, um, you know, I know I have a little bit of work. I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I have a little bit of work ahead of me. The house needs some work. But it's nothing that's not doable. And I'm willing to put the work in to, um, to be able to open a place to heal. So, if you have a dream, don't give up on that dream. Because it can happen. We don't have the best credit. We only had $500 to put down on a home. Literally, we only had $500 to put down on a home. And um, it happened. So now, we're keeping our fingers crossed. All the inspections go well. And everything goes through. And if that's the case, um, hopefully my next video, I'll be walking around my backyard where it will be the future home of a place to heal. So stay happy till I see you again. Stay healthy and keep dreaming because Dreams really do come true. Walt Disney was not wrong about that. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.